Welcome to another episode of Master Roulette. Each week, MBT and I spin a wheel featuring every secret pack in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel to determine which packs we get to open. We then build decks using only 20 of those packs and play a match to determine the winner. Tune in every Saturday for more episodes of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Roulette. Welcome back to another episode of Master Roulette. We are both back from YCS London, probably a bit of a jet lagged episode. You all know how you love those ones. And uh, yeah, here we go. Wait, who even, um, oh, you won because uh, there was I that. I won the April <laughs> Fools episode. Yeah, that counts, that counts. With uh, your legendary hero strategy, which on the same day of uploading that video, you were able to take a feature match with heroes as well at YCS Very London. Very true, Congrats it was a great that. day for heroes. Which I got a chance to watch last night and I got to say, it was an incredible match. There were some pretty crazy moments. So here we go. Did I you will like spin. when I activated Miracle Fusion in the Imperm column? <laughs> yeah, you know what happens. It happens. Reading, right? Reading. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Except at game state. Okay. I will flip through here. This is uh, you first. Let's see what you get. Um, Ooh. Guided by the guided Noble by the Knight. No what do you think this one is? <laughs> you know, I think it might be aliens. So this pack does have good cards in it, but it uh, has two so archetypes. They do kind of go together, right? Yeah, so first off, this is not called gu Guided by the Noble Knight. It's called Guided by the Noble Blade. Uh, minor spelling mistake, I win. <laughs> um, this, this would be a sub if I was on that other video yeah, yeah. where I nitpick every decision you make. Uh, yeah, this is... Um, it's Noble Knights, and it is Infernoble Knights. Right, um, and there's some overlap the there. Infernoble Knights, I'm just imagining a world in which I pull all the swords and none of the guys, and I just <laughs> lose. Uh, Fair. But against my better judgment, I am going to take this one. Okay. That seems that seems like a pretty good pack, honestly. So that makes sense. Here we go. I spin four. I need something that my brain can handle today. Um, well, I'm not playing oh. Heraldi, so that's not good. Well, that might not be the Heraldic one. That might not be the Heraldic one. Altered Heraldi? I mean, what else was in that pack, though? Maybe it is. Oh, you well, ready? Here's, here's yeah. what else is in that pack. Yeah. Garbage Ogre and Garbage Lord. No, oh, just... Just garbage, then, I guess. Well, hold <laughs> up. We might... Wait. wait, hold up, hold up. We can get you out of this pack under the rule set. Uh, this pack is about 80% Xyz. There's actually strikingly few actual monsters in it. Yeah, this is... No, I think this is legitimately an unusable pack. Oh, that's what you mean. <laughs> well, yeah, there's, there's some... There's no, there's seven some monster, monster cards. In, there's there's monster seven cards. normal and two at rare. I, I legitimately think you could... We could uh, auto out of this one. I think this one is fine to stay in the wheel for now. I don't know. Maybe people in the comment section can tell us. I will be re-spinning. Right. Well, let me see what people say. Yeah, I was going to say, you don't pick it, but... <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely not picking it. Yeah, I the, the weird part of it is I do think there are pulls of this set that will not get you 40 monsters that are playable. That is uh, true. But is it a more or less the same ratio as the Axis Code pack? It probably is, honestly. It probably it's is. It's similar. Okay, we'll, we'll yeah. say I, I think it is passable, at least going off of my own chat. It seems like... They're uh, agreeing with you here. So we'll say Altered Heraldi, unplayable. It makes it to the we'll second the, secret the cool wheel. Pack afterwards. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so here's my first real spin. We have... Uh, crystal Serpentry. Yeah. What is... It, it's not at this Serpentry, before. it's Septenary. It's Crystal Septenary, yes, so for the seven materials for yeah. Rainbow Dragon. This is Crystal Beast. Nope, I will pass this one. I'm just <laughs> stuck with whatever know. we get here. Um, what do we got? Please be a good pack. Cyber City Guardians? I, I have no idea what, what that is. What the fuck does that even mean? Oh, whoa. This is... Oh, you're boned, buddy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, what is it? This is... It's VW. Good. VW, very good archetype. But, but it's also... also Tindangles! Oh, shit. I get to be the Tindangler this episode? Man. Wait, who? This... Wait, this doesn't make sense. Why? This set contains 12 total cards. What? No one understands why. This set has five total cards at normal rarity, eight at rare rarity. That doesn't sound right. No, it doesn't. That might be the Tin Dangler's magic trying to prevent you from seeing what's in this great pack. This is a good pack. Um, yeah, let's get into deck building and see how it goes. Good luck. I... 
All right, so here's what Doug doesn't know. I'm kidding. Um, this set is pretty good on face, especially if you roll high, which we did not. Um, thankfully, the low rarity is not bad either. Noble Knight has like a series of very powerful removal spells in the swords, uh, extenders, and stuff like Chin. But uh, a lot of our playability is going to be determined by the Xyz that we pull. Uh, mm, those are two pretty good cards. Dendrite is sort of foolish burial. Uh, Roland and Excalibur and really good. And Horn of Oliphant, if you've never actually looked at, um, is incredible. Uh, banish an equip spell you control her in your graveyard, then destroy a card on the field. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. Wow. Um, and a secret uh, ultra. Sure. Uh, Glory of the Noble Knight, Gwayne. Yeah, looking good. We want a lot of him. Until Noble Arms are needed once again, is it normal rarity? And in limited is an incredibly powerful card. Let's see what we got here. Mmm, that's like the number one card I did not want to see, actually. Uh, Timebreaker. Timebreaker, Kadarla, and Afterburners. Three very playable cards in the front half. Uh, glad we pulled Roland. Uh, Arfa Deuter is actually incredibly strong. Um, just at eating back row in formats where back row is kind of at a premium. Um, okay. Haute Claire, uh, Lady of the Lake, kind of mid... Dristan. Dristan, very good. Uh, dual Link staple there. But again, what we're looking for here is the Xyz monsters. Hopefully, we're able to pull one in this, the Rainbow Pack. Good, good. And it's not in the first four. Uh, Yosenju Magad, is that a Junior Journey reference? Uh, Brothers, very good. Roland, very good. Excalibur, incredible. Come on. Love to see it, folks. Sacred Noble Knight of King Kustenin. Perfect. Exactly what I'm looking for. Let me just read you this text. You can detach any number of materials from this card, then target that many cards your opponent controls, return them to the hand. This card is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard. Special summon a Noble Knight Xyz from your extra deck. Cool. Mm, inside the pack. Come on. Oh, Shape Sister is actually really strong. Um, That's a way that we can get access to a tuner in a deck that really needs Roland. That's, that's nice, actually. Oh! Octo Stretch would be really funny to play, actually. Huh? <laughs> well, we do need a playset, so we'll take it. Oh, we got the playset. Uh, that's our second Oliver Durandal. Very important, of course. Mm, what the heck? What is going on here? Oh, they know that Noble Arms are needed. Oh, they really know that Noble Arms are needed. Holy guacamole. Hmm. That's actually our first Maugus. Second Brothers. <laughs> Madrout, very good card. Incredibly good card. All right, feeling really confident about this. Uh, let's just, uh, you know, have a second half that looks exactly like the first half, and we got this. So here's what MBT doesn't know, and um, a lot of you have probably heard this before, but I really don't know what half of these cards do. I do kind of understand the virtual worlds at this point. We've played them in Master Saga a couple times, but as far as the Tin Dangle cards go, I've looked at them, I've read through them, but I haven't actually played them. So we will see how this episode goes. Looking to pick up the uh, virtual world cards. Uh, that's a pretty good, I mean, that's not really that relevant, but the city to see out of that first uh, pack is great but any virtual world engine that we can pull is probably gonna be like our main win condition. But I think the Tin Dangle cards could be helpful. We do have some good, just like, yeah, Trinity is like a really annoying card to deal with, um, but we need but we do need to pull the Tendangle base Gardna, which is pretty important. If I remember correctly, in my current Master Saga account from Season uh, 3, I actually do have a number of Tendangle monsters that I pulled when I went into the Virtual World pack, but I did not pull any trap cards, and the engine did not seem very playable without this. Sunrise! MBT shout out, I guess. Um, so I think we really need to pull the trap cards, but I mean, seeing the, the Nagel's protection, that's a good pickup, obviously pretty important. And we have a couple other ritual cards as well. But uh, yeah, we really need to pull like cards across different rarities in this opening to have playable strategies. The virtual cards are good uh, at low rare. Oh, that's actually not a bad pickup. Fan Fan is like uh, an alternate win condition if we don't necessarily pull the uh, Shen Shen in this opening, but we'll see, we'll see. I'm liking the Fan Fan, and honestly, the uh, level 6 Synchro is pretty good too. First copy of Gate, good pickup, not sure why I screamed that, but uh, that's a good pickup. Ooh, Hollow from the pack. Um, Tindangle D-Holes, it seems as though I'm being forced to play Tindangles at this rate. Nothing wrong with that. The uh, the Tindangler ways are more uh, in MBT's brain than my brain, but you know, maybe I can borrow some of his knowledge. 
Uh, UA Hyper Stadium. Not really sure if we can play that one, but uh, it's there. Majesty Maiden, maybe summonable. Trinity again. Konomaly. And, oh, there is the level 6 Synchro. So we don't have the big level 9 Synchro at the moment. But honestly, we don't really have a lot of virtual cards in general. So maybe that doesn't matter as much. But uh, we do have at least a rank 6 and a level 6 Synchro to make. So we do have some plays with the virtual cards already. All right, what do we got? Oh, not from the pack. Oh, okay. First copy of the Chuche, the pop cards. Really not seeing like um, a lot of the low rarity virtual cards though. So that might be an issue. We'll see in the next 10 packs. Fluffle Wings, kind of funny. Uh, I don't know what that is. Gozuki. Oh, okay. Pseudo Space is probably the worst uh, holo that we could pull. Not really sure why it's even in here, but uh, man, that sucks. Two monsters of the same type. Maybe we can summon this card. I don't know. Not the greatest first 10 packs, but we will see the next 10 and find out if we can build a good deck. If it's supers, what we're looking for is Distrin. We're looking for Madrout. Uh, we'll take Boars. Uh, we need some Arms. We need some more good Fours. Uh, we need El Shadal Gristia. Oh, Kyoto Waterfront is actually really funny. Like, we might play that card. Okay, there's none of the stuff that I just mentioned. Goki the Great Ogre. I just... I feel like as soon as we... Put that thing in that was like, you can always play your Royals. We just stopped pulling them. Uh, board flies. Uh, this is a generic, actually. Hmm. Heritage, incredibly good. This is, I mean, it's just, wow. That's, that's insane. Hyper Psychic Riser is generic. Ugh. It's our third Merlin. It's like our third Goki as well. That's interesting. Uh, third Roland. Uh, th this has been a pretty mid one. We just want like generic four guys. What the heck? Nebradisc, High Priestess of Prophecy. No, thank you. Joyeuse. We already have enough Gwen. I think we have a place out of all those guys. Oh, geez. We're looking for the four star Infernobles at this point, And obviously the Ice Old would be incredible. Metaphys Neftis is actually kind of nuts because we just pulled uh, Metaphys Decoy Dragon. Hmm. We'll have to think about that. Finally. God, I don't think we pulled a single Destiny yet. Uh, that's our second Gwalchavad. Uh, Arphidiuter again. Stop with the outside the pack. Venomanaga, this deity of poisonous snakes. Royal Burial? Nope. Kustenian. Thank you. God. All right, we're fine. I think we're completely okay here. That's our first Astolfo. Second Dristan, very nice. Malgus, we were looking for one of those. Metarot, wow, really came together in the close. Oh my goodness. All right, yeah, this looks great. 10 more packs. Can we start tin dangling Mr. MBT with these open? Oh my gosh, look at that. That's crazy. But yeah, our virtual world pulls looked very bad, I'm going to be honest, but the tin dangle pulls looked like they were going pretty well. So we'll see. Multiple destruction, kind of a funny card there. And ultimate divine beast. We just talked about this on the channel not too long ago, actually. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Two hollows. This could be big. Shen Shen? To Shen Shen. Okay, now I feel like we have to try to play Virtual World, but we don't have like Lulu or like a lot of the low rarity cards. Like we just are missing a lot of those. I think we only even have like one of the Rotas, like the Gate. We have uh, three of the City. Let's see, pack number three. Three Hollows, Nian Nian, Lulu, and another speedo space. Okay, wait, this is actually, I mean, yeah, this looks pretty strong now, which is good because MBT's cards, I think are gonna be very good. If the world wants me to play it. Red Resonator, actually playable. Holy shit. Yeah, that's a good pickup. We just pulled a second copy of the trap as well. We are gonna have to play tin dangles, by the way. Like there aren't en enough virtual world cards in this pack to build a deck using only those. Um, okay, although we did just pull two of those, <laughs> but we're gonna have to play some tin dangles. So we're gonna be reading those. Pack number six. Oh my gosh, here we go. Chaos Infinity. Wait, kind of playable? Morphtronic. A third set. I mean, we don't need a third Shen Shen, but a third Shen Shen. If we have a Mech Lord monster in our deck, I might play that. 
Oh, pack number seven. What do we got? Okay. Tornado Dragon. Man, I mean, any other week I'd be like over the moon about this card, but I don't think we have that many ways to summon it. I mean, Trinity is a level four, which can just like summon a guy. I don't know. We don't even have the base garden, I'm pretty sure. Tornado is a good pickup. I mean, that's a great rank four. I'm not sure how likely it is that we're gonna be able to make that. Um, oh, we finally pulled this card. Second copy of Lulu, holy shit. Um, but yeah, first copy of Gigi, by the way, which is kind of awkward because that is actually one that you want to um, like have access to. You need these low uh, leveled cards to be able to normal summon. Um, okay. I think we do have like a play set of most of the Tin Dangle uh, low rarity cards, which is nice. Final pack, we do have a hollow from the pack. Uh, like fourth copy of this or third copy of this, not the best. And we have the uh, second copy of this one as well. I think we're going to have a pretty good deck, but MBT's cards are also pretty strong. So it's going to come down to what the pulls were, I guess. Let's get into deck building and see what we can build. So I feel pretty confident about this. Unfortunately, because we had to devote so much main deck space to monsters and uh, swords, we didn't get to play any of the tech choices that I went over in the actual pulls. Uh, you know, no Gadarla, no Timebreaker Magician. Uh, but I do like what we have. It's a little normal summon reliant, I will admit. Uh, we're kind of hoping that Brothers gets us there and maybe we find a scenario where we get to make Gwen. But uh, we pulled all the swords we could ever want. Triple copies of Until Noble Arms Are Needed Once Again. Triple Horn of Oliphant. We're a little light on tuners. I would have liked to have pulled more copies of Olivier, but we only have the one. But double Metarot, great. Uh, double Dristrin, great. Uh, triple Merlin, great. Happy we have Captain Roland. It's just a hard deck to play and it's a hard deck to place. Moreover, uh, it's gonna depend a lot on what Doug tries to play. Like, we are very capable if he did not pull Shen Shen. We're very capable if he does not go all in on Tindangle Trinity. So we'll just have to see if that happens. Uh, also got some like uh, crazy good generics as well. Uh, Hyper Psychic Riser, uh, Dispatch Parazzi, uh, not terrible cards. Okay, our deck honestly looks incredibly powerful. We basically are playing like full power virtual world with like 20 Tindangle cards thrown in. And I gotta say that I think we're gonna do pretty well today unless MBT pulled crazy good out of his packs. That being said, while we have read through these Tindango cards and while chat has tried to help me with them, I really have not played with them before, so we'll see how that goes. But uh, I think I do have an okay grasp on the Virtual World cards, at least enough to get to Shen Shen and the Trap card, which should be pretty powerful on turn one. Let's get into duels though and see how it goes. We're both just a couple of sleeping to peers on today's episode of Your Life. I have won the die roll! Okay, I think that's pretty cool. I'm going to choose to go first. Uh, chat, please stop calling it Cuppy. Um, he's EP. <laughs> We're all jet lagged. We legitimately are quite, quite tired. But I think for once we can actually, uh, oh, that's a hand. Um, okay. Uh, wait a second. This doesn't do anything. I thought it did. Wait a second. Hold on. Does this really not do anything? Are you, are you serious? Are you joshing me? card <laughs> wait a minute are you bricking with vw that's like crazy impossible I've never heard right of that happening impossible. before that's i, I no, that doesn't sound i looked right at to my me. list and i was like i don't even see how i hand brick and then i ass what am i gonna do kill you <laughs> yeah that's what i thought okay time to kill you yeah <laughs> it's like actually your deck is pretty fucking scary oh um, that's actually that's like maybe the best draw on my deck wow that's really something um BW is all one card combos. How did Doug Brick? Hold on. Before we continue. <laughs> what? Daughter Clown. Name one, one card BW combo. one card combo right <laughs> yeah. now or you're banned for the entire episode. Go. You have 10 seconds. This ten, is like the menu. <laughs> nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That was a joke. I'm sorry. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> It is actually a pretty good joke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go um, fucking Merlin, am I right? Um, I would... No, I'm not going to fuck him, but you can. Uh, let's see. We got Merlin, oh, Lone Fire Blossom. Yep. I am the wizened wizard of the Noble <laughs> Knight. Ooh, no, and remember not, that I'm old... Uh, I think it is an old Disney movie, the, the Sword in the Stone. That's a classic. Merlin is a, a baller in that I'm movie, familiar. I oh, I am There's familiar. a really great wizard's duel in that. We should watch that oh. for this episode. Uh, this is kind of silly. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. It's probably just Madrot. So, like, <laughs> I know, I can get Madrot here, but I have a Gawain in my hand. The Madrot's only a light while it isn't equipped, and it can only use its effect uh, while it is equipped, but then it becomes a dark. So and it's I have never. To control no other yeah. monsters. 
Why did they make this archetype this way? What a disgusting blech. Man, I do miss this time though, because like they would release one Noble Knight card per pack. So if you guys think yeah. that like um, it's rough when you get like seven and seven nowadays for TSG exclusives, imagine getting one card a pack for four years. <laughs> I will oh, use Madrot. That says Madrot unequips itself. It will become a light, but then I'll control my. Okay, fine. There he is. What rarity is this? Okay, it was a super. It was a super. An SR. It's an SR, yes. Yeah. But thankfully, Merlin is a rare. This is like the one time that Merlin's actually good in the deck. Uh, we're going to equip it with Infernoble Arms, Haute Claire. Do you know actually the lore behind the Infernoble Arms cards? It's like the... No. What is it? It's the... It's the a museum arms. of the, the, yeah. the, the, the swords, right? Yeah, the, the other ones are like them holding the swords, but this one is like 10,000 years in the future. Okay. They're just going to a museum. Okay, so I did actually know it. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. I didn't know this either. The French Museum claims to have like Excalibur in their No collection. fucking like, way. We got to go to France next. Then. <laughs> they got Excalibur. I mean, what more do you want? <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. Uh, okay, so... um. I'm going to activate the effect of Noble Knight Madrat. Uh, I control no other monsters, so I'll summon a Noble Knight monster from my deck of defense position. Then I will destroy and equip by control. Give me a sec to decide which. Yeah. You're going to grab Noble Knight Kustanin. Or we'll pop out Claire. Uh, oh, next up. Declare. Yeah. Uh, Gwen. There he is. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Isn't it Goblin? Uh, let's make... Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, call him Wayne or whatever. Uh, let's go Sacred Noble Knight of King Kustanin. That's, uh, what? Oh, shit. Uh, and then because this was made with Kustanin, I get the effect that I can do an extra normal, right? Uh, we're going to try and bounce your entire field here. Okay, that's not bad. Okay. We're gonna normal summon Noble Knight Kvalchavad. Sure. So I'll just go to battle. Ha! I'm living! I have defeated the knights by surviving one battle phase. Um, oh, the so fucker thinks he has survived the battle phase. Uh, 33? Stop. What the fuck can you okay. do? You ever read Merlin, buddy? Okay, this shouldn't be able to get to 33. You don't have... Arctorius. Any equips. So do I have Outclair? Uh. No, it won't. It won't. You're just taking two here. Okay, okay. You're going to live. You're going to live. Don't worry. We're popping off. We're popping off. But no, I did not realize Iggy used both those effects uh, on the same time. We're just gonna. Oh, that's a that's a normal spell. I think we're cool here. So the sacred guy floats. Um, Does this float. card is destroyed, special summon, and it gives it a material. Not bad. Holy shit. He's pretty okay. good. No. Okay, there is a plan. I see it. I see it. Activate see the lines? virtual world gate. That's a good one. That's a good start. Oh wait, this doesn't fucking do what I think. <laughs> All right, okay. That's a good start. That's a good start. It, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll activate this. That's pretty good. Yeah. I was trying to get to three gates and then mill a card, <laughs> but I couldn't quite get there. Yeah, none of this works. Oh, my God. That's so sad. Okay, well, I guess I can... Normal summon. Okay, see so that this is like a play. It's like you're doing a combo, right? <laughs> um, you know, I'd like to think I was, but I don't really think I am. I get that. Yeah, yeah, dude, we're yeah. Okay, see. Ha ha! Go ahead. What a good deck. Um, let's wrap this up. Uh, yeah, Merlin. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Man, this is grab... a virtual world experience right here. It, you know what? It, it is. I will say that. Um, 
Noble Knight, Arcturus King of Nobles. Oh, you know what's really funny? What? Oh no, that doesn't work. We're one off. It's not. Wow. I don't have any cards to. Brothers! Yeah. Oh, brother! <laughs> Just that. Oh no! The Tindangle oh, has been revealed! Um, yeah. Wait. Okay, so that does not do anything. Eluani is, like, legitimately an incredibly good card, so uh, I am a little concerned about that for the future, but for for now, I feel okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess I could have set up one Chuche pop, but I don't think it um quite did enough. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like... Yeah. You know, I, obviously, I, I got my... I got my... Um, I got away with murder there. Um, I feel like you were really just like maybe one good BW card away from just winning the game. Oh, I was definitely any in hand effect <laughs> from being able to at least do something. And looks great. And looks real good. Um, okay, let's go activate uh, this. Yeah. Let's go activate Lulu. Wow, Lulu. Um, okay. Okay, so here's the problem. Here's the problem where I don't know what the cards do, but I think that... That's okay. You can infer the VW combo. It's, it's There's definitely one combo this. that's it's like... It's definitely this. It's definitely... Get, get this out of here. Get this out of here. Like, if you click buttons enough, I think it does just eventually, like, solve itself. Uh, um, Danny's in chat. Uh, oh, God. Danny, explain the combos to Doug. Here's what you do. Um, so when you look at your hands, some cards are going to be uh, highlighted in yellow. And click those ones. Uh, yeah, the trick is just the trick is just to click yes repeatedly. Wow, this can do. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Me, okay. me when I figure out to add Roshi. <laughs> oh wow! Uh, Look at Lao Lao. Hold up! One. How'd you figure that one out? <laughs> Chat actually. Uh, okay, let's activate <laughs> Lily. <laughs> Doug, 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 yeah, yeah. real quick. Do not read your chat for VW. <laughs> <laughs> um, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Special. I say this as a friend. Send a card. I love you. <laughs> oh, no. We're <laughs> fucked. Oh, you, oh, you really okay, have okay, it this okay, time. Okay, okay, okay. Lili, Lulu, Chuche in the opener. And then... Ugh. <laughs> this? Okay. We have gotten there. We have gotten there. <laughs> oh, good. I was like, I, I just know he has Shen Shen. Yeah, I can yeah. feel it in my bone. And then I think it's oh, it's this. Let's go La La Effect. Target this. Shen Shen. Put this for later. Oh, God. Summon. Activate effect. Um, bring back this one. Yep. Uh, activate. You make Bish Balkan. It's over. Okay, let's activate this. Let's activate this. Uh, no, not Cheney. Not Cheney. Wait a second. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Wait. Everything going well over there? Oh, does Lulu. Lulu's the only one that searches the trap? Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Um, That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'll get rid of the team. Oh, Lord. pitching angel. Angel. You couldn't yeah. have drawn any more of those, huh? It had no. to be uh, Lulu, Lili, uh, Chuche, you know? Hey, what could, was be, the... could be angel. Yeah, what was my turn last game? <laughs> oh, whoops. This yeah. is not the right target at all. Anyway, we'll, we'll just get rid of this. See, that's know. all part of the plan, chat. Um, and then, yeah, summon. Uh, summon. What you got to do, buddy? Yeah. Oh my fucking god! He really does have two Shen Shen. Jesus Christ! Yeah, yeah, I got, I got the Shen. My boy, we are defeated. It um... is over. <laughs> sure. Okay. Sure. Oh wait. Okay, I've, I've clicked the wrong card, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I clicked the what? wrong card. I clicked the wrong card. It's okay. Now act we make act happen. act. Okay. Uh, summon this. Oh, if you make um, the third Shen Shen Doug, I swear to God. Discard this. D holes pitch. Activate D holes. D -holes actually, that's pretty crazy. Actually. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I was pretty pretty impressed with that. That's kind of that's fun. Yeah. No, that was that was cool. Um, and then.
If I can beat three Shen Shen, I, I think we just have to stop. I mean, the honestly, three Shen, <laughs> three Shen Shen is worse than one Shen Shen in the trap. So maybe I should have done this a little differently. But you know, it is I don't it know. Is. It looks pretty good here. <laughs> Why didn't this add anything? What the fuck? There's nothing. That's add. a decent draw. There's not, there's not a single All card. Right, time to think. There's no way this was correct, but I just had to, I just had to, you know, I had to get there. I had to summon three. Okay, we're always doing that. <laughs> we're always doing this. Man, yeah. We are always going What here. did I search with Lulu? L trap wow. hmm. Um, I think we can do it. All right, uh, normal summon brothers. Oh shit, oh shit, yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. Old hand, old hand coming out. Yeah, that's actually like the craziest, okay, yep. Oh no, oh no, oh no, <laughs> oh no. District. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yep. Glory of the noble arms! Yep. Equip Distrin. Uh, what do we want? Mm. This one? Oh, we'll do that. Behold Arpha Deuter. Trigger the effect of the Distrin. Let's grab one. There it goes. Let's go. Kustanin. Yep. To use Kustanin's Biden Blast. <laughs> one, two. Yeah. And we'll use Arfa Deuter. Pop the. Oh. That's that's pretty good. <laughs> that was an all right turn. Oh uh, that man. That was an all right turn for sure. Yeah, um, I really needed that trap. Really needed that trap. The good news is that it's not over. Uh, we are going to set one, two cards, and pass turn. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. What are, what are we looking at here? What are we looking at here? Yeah, we got that. Let's activate this. Chuche is fine. Let's add Lulu. Discard the card in hand. Discard Nagel's, Nagel's. protection. We got it. Okay, it's it's there. Go until noble arms are needed once again here. Um, <laughs> that's a pretty good one. I think I will. Take yeah. That <laughs> okay. That's fine. That's fine. Um. Yeah, I think I have to do that. Okay. I don't want to lose to like any quick play equips. So let's do this. Fine. I think there's a, a quick play that like equips it. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. There anyway, is, yeah. Yeah, activate Lulu. Right, you know what else there is? Is a trap card called Horn of Oliphant. Uh, we are going to banish our Arpha Deuter. <laughs> We're going to destroy your. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, mm, well, mm, uh, <laughs> uh Welp, I do have to. Attack over the drive. Do you? I feel like you don't. Um, uh, right, otherwise, I'll you can just that. summon uh, Madrod and just make a rank four, I think. Are you under the impression that I will not be able to do that otherwise? Oh my god, that's the best draw on my Stop, deck. Stop, dude, come on. All right, so <laughs> my deck was foremost, so good this we're week. Going. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're going to go. Um, until noble arms are needed once again, which is right the fuck now. Oh we need that God. shit once again. <laughs> Gotta be Kustanin. Very not pretty. <sighs> okay. Sacred noble knight of Kustanin, we grab yeah. Arctorius. Arctorius of Effect. Yeah, at least oh, you're not getting. Oh fuck off, dog! It's a when you can. Oh, I don't even have targets. I don't know what I'm thinking here. Oh, the, yeah. I was getting so excited for nothing. We get over it at least. Yeah, like I'm not sure what exactly I'm doing on my next turn against this, but we'll see. We'll see. Mm, this patch. Perfect. All right, we'll go Heritage of the Chalice. Ooh, yeah, that's a good last card in hand. Yep. Yep. Uh, we're going to grab the Randall. Yeah. The Randall. The Madrat. 
Is this going to be the first Infernoble appearance? Perhaps. Okay. I'm going to grab Roland. Yeah. Arf. Okay. I need you, Tindangler. Uh, doesn't really do anything. Okay. Well, activate this. <laughs> oh, it's not terrible. You have, like, three Chuche activations. Yeah. It's just... Okay. So we'll do this. We'll hit... I think... Wait, are level four scarier than... No, because this can, like, pop back row, so I have to hit that one. Okay, let's put this back. And... Ugh, that doesn't even seem... Well, okay, yeah, I guess that'd be a good one to draw. Sure. Lulu and Lao Lao. Lulu, Lao Lao, that's fine. Pop that. I could... I think I have to do this just to, like, stay alive. Oh, wait, this doesn't actually add anything. Wait. I'm confused as to what's going on here. Because <clears throat> this has to... Yeah. Well, I'll just add it anyway. That's fine. That's fine. We'll skip that in. Let's we'll get that in. I don't want to draw that Yeah, card. we're just getting it in rotation. We're getting I, it I in rotation. I don't want to draw that card. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right. Okay. That's the craziest draw. No. <laughs> Legitimately the best draw. Oh my gosh, every time. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. All right, it is it is Jover. It's Jo What? How? Do you doubt the might of the noble knights? No, I'm just trying to think about if there's a way I can play around it, if I can figure out how you're lethaling me here. Um, yeah, that one's fine. I guess I'm just, I guess like either way, if you have that, I lose, but is it like, you have quick play spell to equip some like the destiny to this is that what's happening uh we'll we'll find out we'll indeed find out. it is damn oh, it come it on it is time for you to feel the glory of the noble knight it's so awkward because like no matter where i do it like mine targets and yours targets so it's just ah oh, jeez. all right well at least i summoned three shen shen but perhaps uh if i would have realized that is something that i've definitely forgotten in um the the saga episodes i play this deck as well that the Lulu is the only card that can get to the trap. The only card. So, in that opening, definitely should have gone for one Shen Shen plus Chuche. Would have been pretty good. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. See, let's let's give it, let's give it five hundred. You, you used an Infernoble card. <laughs> <laughs> Man, GGs, oh, GGs. My yeah, deck is I, I'm surprised insane. We Insane. All right, let's by see. The let's way. see. It. Truly ridiculous. Oh my fucking god! No. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I had so that hand turn one that la the first game was like city gate Nian Nian, and then wow. eventually we drew this as our. So the only two monsters we ever saw were these two. So I just couldn't. <laughs> oh my gosh. Man. I mean, my deck's pretty good uh, as well. Um, I played 41 because I'm a baby. But, like, <laughs> we were missing um, a yeah, consistent way to get to a level one tuner because we put, like, triple Roland, which would have been crazy. It's rare, though, so whatever. Are you missing um, a lot of the equip spells, or did you just not play them? Uh, I probably wouldn't play more than this. Um, okay. We pulled most of them. We pulled a play set of most of the guys. Um, but I mean, we were basically going and I was like, all right, this is going to be horn of Oliphant control basically. Yeah. Uh, no, the, I didn't even realize that those two, I, I kind of had read the, the trap card that 
excavates because that was one that was oh, like actually once played again, by like the most crazy card ever printed like yeah the fact that trap cards are just bad is the only reason it wasn't played and constructed it's like one of the greatest cards ever made yeah both the facts are just nuts but um i had not heard of the the only fan so that just like that got me there anyway we did luck out we got double uh double med rod double distran that was sweet yeah yeah i mean honestly though like i think our decks are pretty comparable like i think we both pulled like enough supers and ultras to have like relevant strategies so it was a good mm -hmm. it was a good match it was a good match see you guys next week ggs bye bye